going to show you how to play Hey Jude by the Beatles. If you want the letter notes for that, you can go to letternoteplayer.com, download them, have them right there in front of you as you learn to play this song. I'm going to start with the melody, but I'm going to play a, a single note bass as I teach you the melody so you can see how the bass notes go with it. So we start off on a C. We're in the key of F. There's your basic chord for the key of F, F A C, 1 3 5 on F. So it starts off on a C, A, A, C, D, G. You're going from an F chord to a C chord. G, A, B flat. Now right there we've got a C7. So when I'm playing it, I'm going to hold the C chord, but you can also get a G minor sound in there. And it goes back to the C chord. So C, A, A, C, D, G, G, A, B flat, F, F, E, C, D, C, B, A. So we're going back to the F chord right there. to that D we're going to hit a B flat sound in the bass so it's going to be a B flat chord which is B flat D F so those notes are C D D D G F E F D C down to F G A D C C B flat A E F then it repeats the bass there you've got one two three four. and you can you can keep those pulses going by fours if you want the F chord F A C then you're going to the C chord and here's your C chord C E G and I'm going to play the G on the bottom back to the F chord then we go up to a B flat now the B flat is B flat D F. Back to the F chord. And then up to the C chord. To the F chord. You can get a G minor sound in there, but it's not the way it is in the recording. If you want to play it, you can put it in there, but. Right here. You're going to the we're going to the B flat right there, so you can make it like a C ninth, but that isn't what's played. What they have is a C seven, which they have a C E G and the B flat right there. C E G B flat. I'm going to go real slowly so that you can see it. But before we get there, uh, let's play it. Now the first verse. 
course, you just end it like that. Then you go right into another verse. But this verse ends a little different because it goes to... It gets that little sound in the... So we'll, we'll end it there. playing there is we're playing a F chord with the F on top, then this is actually an F major sound, a real jazz sound, so it's an E natural, and then we go to the E flat, well once we go to the E flat, we have a, ma a regular seventh chord on F, F, A, C, E flat, so we go F, so what we're doing there, I'll slow it down, A, C, F, a, C, E, A, C, E flat. Now I haven't shown you this melody, so then we have F, F, D, D, C, C, B flat, D, F, D, F, B flat, F, D, C, B flat, C, D, C, B flat, A, G, F. ends right there so now with the with the notes there's really no bass during that first opening line because we've got now here's where we're gonna have the bass we're gonna have a B flat chord then we're gonna take that from a B flat to a D minor sound but the bass is just gonna go B flat A G and this is gonna stay the same so B C chord, and then we're going to go back to the F chord, but well, that sound right there is a G7 sound, G, B flat, D, F, so we've got a, the B flat right here, and we've got the G, D, F in the, in the bass. the C, C chord, F chord, and what I'm going to do there in the bass, I'm going to go F chord, F chord, C chord, C7, I'm going to play a C, E, and a B flat, because I have the G up here in the, in the treble. Have the whole seventh chord C E G B flat. And then they, they do a little melodic. So kind of turn the melody. And then it's back to the same thing. So once you get through that first chorus, then you've got a third verse and a chorus that's the same material, a couple little melodic variations, but not much. And then you've got the fourth verse, and then the fourth verse leads into a better, 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 better bridge right there. Now the notes that you play on that bridge... So here they are. E, F, A flat, A, B, C, E, E, F, A flat, A, B, C, A, C, F right there. And that leads right into the na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na, the, uh, the tag indie. Let's play the chord. It's going to be an F chord with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it every four notes. And then when you get to this note, these notes, just to open that up in the bass so it's not so muddy, just come right up to an FCF. Now 
what you've got there, you've got an F chord with an arpeggio, and we're going to an E flat chord, E flat chord. Now the E flat is in the bass, and then we're going to go to a B flat, and then it'll do it again. and here's the harmony you've got an F chord and then usually if I'm playing the chord the E flat chord I'm going to put the E flat in the middle with the B flat on the bottom and then when I go to the B flat chord all I got to do is change these two notes to a D and an F and I've got the chord so when you move from from the E flat and the D to E flat and the G to the to the D and the F Now you're gonna it repeats so many times and you can have some extra little things so that little ad-lib part at the end you can go B flat A F B flat A F and sometimes you can just do an octave you can throw that in there. and sometimes you can just throw in some things in there you got octave you can play that times as you want because they play on and on and on so she just faded out and you can end with an F chord and one way to fade it and take the take the emotion out of it is take some of the action out of it. Hey Jude by the Beatles. Hope you enjoy playing it, singing it.